Hey everybody, welcome to Bible Bites. I'm Pastor Dan. We are reading through the Bible one small bite at a time. We have been going through the book of Matthew. We are in chapter 9 and we are going to pick up in verse 27. As Jesus passed on from there, two blind men following followed him, crying aloud, Have mercy on us, son of David. That title, son of David, is like a, a title, uh, and it was connected to the Messiah. It was connected to the idea of the one who would come in the name of God, the anointed one, the Christ. Messiah and Christ really mean the same thing, anointed one. You really can see this connection very well in Matthew 23, verse 41, where Jesus explains how this title, uh, well, he explains about the title a little bit more and how it applies to him, how it applies to the, to the Christ. So, that being said, verse 28, it says, When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, do you believe that I am able to do this? And they said to him, Yes, Lord. Jesus often asks people if they believe, if they have faith, that he will do this. Sometimes he asks them, uh, What do you want? Which I really believe is another way of, of uh, asking if they have the faith, if they have faith, if they're, if they're truly trusting that he's going to heal and he can heal. So Jesus wants us to approach him with that, that kind of faith, that trust. Uh, and of course, they said, yes, we, we believe, right? Uh, and then he touched their eyes saying, according to your faith, let it be done or be it done to you. And their eyes were open. Uh, and one moment they could see, the next moment uh, they, or in one moment they couldn't see, and the next moment they, they were able to. They had sight, they were blind, but now they saw. And Jesus sternly warned them, see that no one knows about it. So Jesus, a handful of times in the Bible, tells people not to let people know about what he had done. That is because Jesus understood that the more he grew in notoriety, the more he the word spread about him, the more people resisted him, right? So he became, the more he became popular with some people, uh, with the culture and, and in Israel, the, the, the more hated he also became among other certain groups of people. Eventually, it would lead to his crucifixion on the cross. So Jesus knows the timeline. He knows that he is going to be going to the cross, but now is not the time. And of course, Jesus wasn't looking for fame anyways. So this would be the reason why Jesus would tell people, hey, don't go spread the word about what I just did for you. But of course, in verse 31, it says, they went away and spread his fame through all the district." They didn't listen. <laughs> they did the opposite of what Jesus had asked. All right, next video, we are going to uh, read about another uh, healing of Jesus and see his power uh, in a little bit of a different way. So, I'll uh, catch you in our next video.